Welcome to our lecture online. Here a slight variation from the previous example. Again, two examples slightly different from one another helps us understand the concepts in this particular case. We're dealing with the concept where we have the apparent power defined as being the square root of 3 times the load voltage, or I should say the line voltage times the line current. And we have the triangle representing the complex or apparent power, the reactive power, and the real power. And then the power factor defined by the cosine of the phase angle. Now, in this particular problem, we're supposed to determine the line current needed for a 25 kilowatt three-phase motor with a power factor of 0.8 when connected to a balanced 220 volt source. So again, we look at the triangle, we see what is needed, and in this case, we're trying to find the line current. So I sub L is what we're looking for. So we go to this equation right here, and we take the equation and we say that I sub L is equal to the what we call complex or apparent power divided by the square root of 3 times the line voltage. Now let's see what we've been given so far. We haven't been given the complex power, but we're given the real power, P. We know that P is equal to 25 kilowatts, and we're given that the power factor is equal to 0 0.8. From that, we can get the relationship here that the power factor, the cosine of phi, is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Which means that since we need S, we can write that S is equal to the power required by the motor divided by the power factor. So in this case, that's equal to 25 kilowatts. That's a power consumed by the motor and a power factor of 0 0.8. So let's see here, 25 divided by 0.8, which is 31.25 kilowatts. 31.25 kilowatts is the complex power of the source, of the, uh, no, the complex power of the load. That goes in here, so this is equal to 31,250 divided by the square root of the 3, and divided by the line voltage of 220 volts, which will give us the line current. So this is equal to divide by the square root of 3, divide by 220, so a current of 82 amps will be required along the line in order to provide that motor with sufficient current and sufficient power to operate like that. And that is how it's done.